All right, getting back to the Neotech 660 clone steel. Split the case. Here's uh, here's what I found. Um, when I pressed the crankshaft out of the bearings, it came out curiously smooth. Um, I measured the crank journal here and then matched it to an OEM and it looks like it's about a half a thousand smaller in diameter on both sides, both flywheel and clutch side. Um, here, let me bring you up here. Sorry, unplug my phone. Uh, machine work on the crank looks good. Um, We'll see how the bearing holds up. Threads look good. We'll probably use some Loctite 620. It's like a sleeve sealer. Um, it is resistant to oil and gas um, and has held up on a couple other repairs that I've done when a bearing has slightly slung, excuse me, spun in the pocket. Uh, the good news is, is that when they machined out the bosses for the bearing, that is a nice interference fit. I mean, perfect. You pressing these out of there, uh, you couldn't tell any difference. It is a nice, snug, secure fit. Um, the bearings that were supplied, uh, obviously these are Chinese bearings. There's no marking on the proprietary type clutch side bearing. Uh, this one just says H HCH on it. Uh, both of these bearings are nice and smooth. Uh, nothing wrong with them at all. Um, these seals, the rubber feels really nice. Pliable, firm. I think they're good seals. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here's, here's something cute just to show you. This will take a second. Make sure we're set back up here. So I'm gonna throw just a little tiny bit of heat at a bearing race. And this is gonna be just enough to uh, warm it up. I'm, I'm not trying to get it hot. I'm just trying to So I can still hold this in my hand. It's warm, maybe 120, 30 degrees. Watch this. Let's let get it on there straight. Oops, come on. Ah, it did it for me earlier. Dang it. It just slid right on. Maybe it was on this side. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so maybe this side's tight. I measured both sides and they're about a half a thou under, but you shouldn't be able to do that. The, this crank is room temperature. It's about 65 degrees in the basement. Um, like I said, nice smooth bearing, but that shouldn't slide on that easy with it being just, I mean, lukewarm to the touch. Anyway, um, you don't know until you dig into it. Uh, this again, I'm looking forward to it. This will be a fun project. Uh, we we'll probably clean up the casting on the crankshaft a little bit, and then one last thing that I did notice: um, this paint really isn't bonded very well at all to any of these surfaces. It just flakes right off. Um, you can see right there. Um, and then up here. So what we may do is put a little bit of paint thin. I, I don't know. We'll find something, some, uh, some paint remover or something. And maybe I'll get all of this paint 
because I don't want this chipping off afterwards. Bearings don't like to have any kind of debris in them. Um, but like I said, uh, good news on the crankcase, both of these pockets are perfectly sized. You know, good, good interference fit for the bearings. The bearings that, that came with this chainsaw are seem to be pretty good. Um, that's what I got. Thanks a bunch. And uh, this is about as far as we'll be able to go until I get uh, some OEM uh, uh, seals and bearings and everything else. I don't know. Tell me what you think. We can use these. But this is going to have to be cleaned up. I mean, you can, it's, that's not good. All right, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.